Welcome to another tech video. So today we're going to be um, looking at a HP 250G7 laptop. So the issue that we've got with this one is um, the battery is not holding its charge and the uh, starting to show signs of drive problems. So um, we're going to have a quick look at it and see what we can do to resolve those problems. We've got a replacement battery. Um, first thing you want to do is remove these top and bottom strips and these contain uh, some sticky tape so you, you want to try and keep hold of that to reuse it if you don't if you can't reuse it then um, like on this back one for instance there's not much stickiness left on it so uh, we can replace that with a strip of VHB tape later uh, next you want to remove all of the screws so I've been round and uh, pre-loosened these Apart from the one or two, it's uh, st stuck under a bit of tape, so we can get rid of the tape as well. There we go. All the screws are the same length, so just go around and remove all of them. This one here will release the CD drive or the DVD drive. We should do, there we go. So we can remove that, put that to one side along with all of the screws. Next you want to check just where the DVD drive was to make sure there's no screws on there, which there isn't in this one. Uh, and then we can open it up carefully and what we're looking for is a, a suitable place to get in with a couple of uh, nylon plastic prizes so normally you can get in in the corners uh, let's have a look okay I can see down the back here actually we've got a bit of the side of it is broken where the Kensington lock looks like it's been dropped on the corner. So that might work in our favor, but we'll try and get in down the side here. Okay, there we go. And once you get in, you can just run the prize at all along the edge. And that should free it up. There we go. And then, very carefully, go around and release the cover. And that should just come off like that, which it does. Okay, so inside we've got our battery. Um, where is the... Okay, so the hard drive is here. Okay, it's an SSD drive, so First thing we'll do is we'll get the battery out of it and to remove the battery, there's a couple of screws here. There's one, two, three screws that we need to take care of. One there. Next one just by the connector in the center. And then one on the left here just by the Wi-Fi card. So now that battery should just lift out. There we go. Okay, so it feels a little bit swollen in the left cell, but uh, let's get our replacement. So this was $39.99. professional laptop battery makes your laptop better than you okay and here's our replacement battery 
so we will get that added and inserted there make sure it fits which it does okay so that's the new battery in so we can replace the screws and now let's remove the SSD drive because I want to have a look at see how old this is if this is an original one which it looks like it is PCI 256 gig unbranded okay so let's see if we've got a replacement I think we do yes so we've got an integral <laughs> so we've got a replacement we've got a replacement 256 gig drive here that should do just fine hopefully so that's just going to get replaced into the slot we're going to do a new install of windows on here there we go so that's our new 256 gig drive in and connected now we can start putting things back together so in reverse order take our lid clip that in so now all that is clipped in we get all the screws back in insert our DVD drive going around tightening things up And then on the strips that you remove the tape from, if you remove the tape from. So if they came off cleanly, then great, reuse it. But in our instance, the one on the back, we've got to replace it with a bit of double-sided VHB tape. And there we go. So we've got none on that one okay so this is the front one so all i'm going to do is just run one single line of vhb tape down the center and on the back one as well And then off. that one off. So the slightly the higher one goes on the back. Slightly different sizes. There we go. And same on the front, put the edge to the edge, put the other edge in, and then just press that down. Okay, so there we have it. So that's now put back together. The next thing we want to do is get that on charge. And once it's charged, we can then 
think about getting an operating system on here. Okay, so we've got Windows 11 installed now. Um, a nice simple install, run the Windows updates. Um, and yeah, it's all ready to go. So let's have a look at the system itself. We go to properties. Okay, so 8th gen Core i5, quite a slow one. 8 gig of RAM and our Windows 11 Pro licensed and activated account. So this can now go to, back to our customer. So if you found that video useful, give us a thumbs up. Don't forget to, to subscribe to the channel and we'll see you in the next one.